Well, hello! I'm Charles. Welcome to Char's Candles. This is Jumbles. He is a cancer carnivore, and he's here to help me review some candles for you tonight. Or whenever you're watching this. <laughs> I have to put him down. <laughs> he's squirming. He wants some food. Well, we have another candle haul for you. And, uh, yeah. I ordered these candles last Saturday or Sunday. Thank you to Leah, my sister-in-law, for pointing out the wonderful sale Bath & Body Works was having. Uh, so let's dig in. Our first candle up. Don't know if you can see this gorgeous lid. It's textured. It looks like a giant snowflake. <laughs> Is cinnamon and clove buds. It is described as cinnamon leaf, clove bud, who would have guessed, ground nutmeg with essential oils. Sorry, I think I got trouble scaring my tongue. <laughs> it is not pleasant. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's, it's okay, but like the underlying lasting scent is just like an offensive cleaner, like chemical burns. Hopefully when we light this baby, it will smell better than what I just encountered right now. It was rough. Next up, Winter. It's got this cute uh, holiday tree, Christmas tree decoration on it. Winter is a go-to. Get it every year. It is described as white woods, pine needles, sparkling clementine, Spice clove with essential oils. <sighs> smells like laying in a bubble bath while you look outside and it's snowing and you're reading a sexy romance novel and you don't have anything to do all day but eat and drink champagne. Sounds like heaven on earth, right? All right. Next. Tis the season. It's this beautiful <laughs> frosted red glass with this textured label. Tis the season is described as rich red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood, which sounds wonderful, right? <sighs> it smells so welcoming and warm, like an apple pie, but like Christmassy. So, I would say that these two are similar in scent, but this one is the superior. This one is like the ugly step sibling slash, I don't know. What's like a non-offensive way to say the red-headed stepchild <laughs> is this one. Um, get this one, not this one. Like I said, hopefully this one will smell better when we burn it, but who knows. All right, last is Ooh, look at this black sparkles. This is sex, sexy, sexy candle. Uh, Into the Night. This one, I like this one. I have not smelled this one before. But it is described as sugared raspberry, velvet rose petals, velvet, shimmering amber, again, <laughs> creamy musk with essential oils. Um... Part of me wonders who writes these. What is creamy, like what is creamy musk and what does that even smell like on its own? Um, anyway, it's more of a sweet smell than probably what I would like, but it smells like the champagne toast, which I like to have at New Year's Eve. Uh, it just smells like a party. It smells like that time uh, I was in high school and I got these really sweet jeans at Express and I went to a New Year's Eve party and somebody spilled an entire bottle of Bacardi Raz on my new jeans and I was upset and I took them back to Express and lied and said that nothing had happened to them, that they were just the wrong size and exchanged them for another pair. <laughs> back then it was structure. <laughs> structure, I think for men, just structure, I don't know. Anyway, don't ever do that. Uh, so in addition to the candles, I also got hand soaps. And I got a cranberry peach, which is sweet peaches, tart cranberry, and gala apple. Never have smelled this before, but 
cranberry peach. That sounds nice. Like, who wouldn't want their hands to smell like cranberry peach? Oop, fiddles. I also got winter, so it'll smell like this candle. Uh, spiced orange, fir, balsam, and clove buds is how they describe it on here. These are the foaming hand soaps, so they're like nice and gentle and they smell really wonderful. Uh, stress relief, who doesn't need stress relief in their life, right? Uh, eucalyptus spearmint. Aromatherapy, thank you. The only therapy I can afford. Um, <laughs> kitchen lemon, which is zesty lemon, sparkling citrus, and Italian bergamot. Um, and finally, frozen lake, which I smelled for the first time last Thanksgiving at an Airbnb that we stayed at in Omaha, Nebraska. The Airbnb itself was terrible, but their hand soap was amazing. It smelled really good. I guess it wasn't amazing. Um, but yeah, this is the haul. Uh, like I said, I got these on sale. They will last probably a long time. I'm still going through candles that I got a few months ago. I haven't bought many candles for a while, but this was too good of a sale to pass up. And uh, anyway, hope you guys are having a great week or weekend and have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you for stopping by Shars Candles. I'll see you next time. Bye, Sharnados.